India has kicked off the acquisition process for three highly mobile regiments of indigenous quick reaction surface to air missile systems the Anand Shastra At a cost of nearly rupees 30000 crores the Indian army has issued a request for proposal to acquire three regiments of the quick reaction surface to air missile systems Anand Shastra developed by the DRDO and to be co-produced by Bharat Electronics and Bharat Dynamics the system will add a cutting edge layer to India's air defense network this move comes just months after operation sindhu where intense hostilities with pakistan highlighted the urgent need for mobile and modern air defense systems so what exactly is the anand shastra let's take a closer look at its fire power and role on the battlefield mounted on a high mobility 8 by 8 vehicles the qr sam brings together missile launchers 360 degree radars automated command and control systems and all weather tracking together with its search track and fire at short halt capability the system can protect advancing tank columns infantry combat vehicles and artillery batteries across plains deserts and mountains on both the pakistan and the chinese front but anand shastra is not just about the range it's built to counter new age threats like swarm drones and loitering munitions threats that played out during the operation sindhur so why is it a game changer the qr sam neutralizes incoming threats at altitudes of 6 to 10 kilometers even under hostile electronic jamming conditions its three fragmented warheads high speed solid fuel propulsion and integration with army akshatir command network makes it a tactical game changer it will gradually replace the older russian origin osa ak systems offering india a faster smarter and a more mobile air defense shield the qr sams will join india's layered air defense family alongside akash and the newer akash prime regiments designed for high altitude deployment now with the help of this uh, graphic wall and the graphics that are displayed i'll try and explain how the layered system of air defense will get effective in actual uh, this side we have shown the range in kilometers above the mean surface level or above the surface level so to say and these are the photographs of various equipment to start with uh, zu23 this is zu23 and also l70 uh, they will cater for anything flying above the surface area up to 4 kilometers thereafter we have uh, qr sam anant shastra which uh, the indian army will soon acquire and uh, they can cater for up to 10 kilometers from the surface of the earth uh, thereafter uh, we have akash and akash prime the difference between two akash is for the plain areas and akash prime is for the high altitude areas and this system can cater for up to 18 kilometers so we have seen 4 kilometers 10 kilometers and 18 kilometers these are the three layers and continuing with that the master of the air defense or the the tiger of the air defense is the s400 and also there are uh, different uh, 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 missile systems with the air force as well and they can cater for up to 30 kilometers so anything flying from 30 kilometers right down to the surface area uh, surface level these equipments can tackle layer by layer india already fields 55 regiments of mixed air defense systems akash missiles cover a 25 km range overhead akash prime regiment under induction since year 2023 are tailored for high altitude areas above 4500 meters along the chinese frontier and now anand shastra qr sam will plug a critical gap against drones loitering munitions and rockets during operation sindhur this multi layer shield proved decisive against waves of turkish origin drones and chinese missiles used by pakistan but the indian army's air defense will need much more than the missiles guns sensors and counter drone systems that will be critical for the future battlefield 
The Army is also upgrading its L-70 anti-aircraft guns and the Zu-23 twin barrels, both of which proved effective in Operation Sindhu. Future plans include counter UAS guns against drones, counter RAM systems similar to the US Flenex CIWX, and the new generation radars and sensors able to detect small UAVs as well as aircrafts. From Operation Sindur to the induction of Anand Shastra, India's air defense is transforming rapidly. This is not just about new missiles, but about building a resilient, layered shield against old and emerging new threats. Now let's talk about a breakthrough that marks a historic turning point in India's aerospace journey, the Kaveri derivative engine D1 that has been delivered by the Godrej Aerospace.